Good afternoon. I know this is a video many of you have been waiting for. We are going to get into our birds today. Uh, birds are just the best. We've got a few little mottos that go with them here at Ascari. Birding will change your life and bird nerd and proud. Now the really good thing about birds is that even when there is nothing else to see on game drive and the mammals aren't out and about, there's always a bird. They never let you down. We've got well over 200 different species here on Pidwa. Um, over 900 listed in Southern Africa, so you also never run out of things to learn. Okay, starting us off here, we've got a yellow-billed hornbill. We've got five species of hornbill that we find here on Pidwa. This is easily the most common. And you can see that huge chunky bill, uh, which it uses to dig and maneuver objects of food. They are predominantly insectivores and their favorite food is dung beetles. Okay, another very common bird for us here. This is one of our dove species, the emerald spotted wood dove. It gets its name from the spots on the side of the wing there. Nickname of the drunken sailor. If you can imagine finding this one's tracks the day after and the way that it's walking, it does look a little bit like it's drunk. And the doves are predominantly seed eaters and they'll often use the roads like this. Uh, nice and easy to find the seeds, also to see predators come in. Um, and also the seeds get knocked off quite easily by the vehicles and animals that are using the roads as well. This one is a crested barbet. Uh, he's having an, an interesting time there with his uh, hair in the wind. One of my favourites to see. And these guys are incredible nesters. They're actually quite similar to the woodpeckers in that they construct their own nests in dead wood with that big strong beak. Uh, so they'll go in about 8 centimetres before then going down vertically up to 30 centimetres uh, to a chamber there at the bottom which is where they will lay the eggs on, on the wood chip that's fallen in. Okay, another one of our hornbill species here. This is the red-billed hornbill. Uh, you'll see that the bill is a lot more slender as well. So like I mentioned, they are insectivores. Uh, but they can also catch lizards, nestlings, even rodents. This is a ground bird here called a crested franklin. Uh, and what we've got here is a pair, a monogamous pair and offspring. So collectively we'll call that a covey, covey of franklin. Unfortunately just moving off the road here. Okay, this um, crazy looking bird here is called an African hoopoe. And you see that it's got that long probing beak and that's because it predominantly feeds on insects and their larvae. Oh, and some interesting behavior here. Uh, this is what we call dust bathing and it's something that the birds do for cleaning purposes. So just as you can see here, they wriggle their bodies in patches of loose soil. Um, they flick fine dust around and that dust uh, hopefully dislodges parasites. And also that dust can stick to excess preen oil so that they can get that off a little bit more easily as well. So if we've got anybody following that lives in Europe, this may look familiar to you. Uh, it's not the same bird, you actually get one called a Eurasian hoopoe. And that's the most widespread of all the hoopoes that goes across Europe, Asia and North Africa. Um, and it's this African hoopoe that we find in Southern Africa. Amazing crest you can see there. Uh, that crest normally gets put up just as the bird lands, or also when it's alert and active. Here we've got a couple of crowned lapwings, and if you've been to Ascari, you'll remember these are the ones we see in the open areas with the short grass. Uh, in turn, that does lead to them being quite noisy and aggressive birds. They are territorial, so they'll often call or give threatening displays or even aerial chases for their territory. Uh, it does also mean <laughs> that, that um, their nest can be quite exposed. So the nest is literally just a scraping in the ground. Uh, they do lay a spotted egg as opposed to a bright white one. And then that mixed in the nest with some stones and roots and grass does give it extra camouflage but they are known to dive bomb uh, anything threatening the nest or coming towards it, even something as big as a, a buffalo or even an elephant. 
So just starting off with some of our most common species there and you can see even amongst them there's amazing variety of size and shapes and colours. So even if you don't yet consider yourself a bird nerd, I'm determined to convert you so please join us next time for some more birds.